What's up guys, I'm John the Potter. Welcome back to another pottery video. Today, we have a fail message on our kiln. No! We got our Scut Model 1027-3. So, we fired the kiln, everything came out fine, but the fail message means one of two things. It means that one, the thermal couple is not connected correctly inside of here, and two, the thermal couple got, has gone bad. So if you know and you've fired kilns a lot, you know that the thermal couple does need to be replaced every so often. It's been a little while since we've replaced mine, so I have another thermal couple that I can replace if I need to, but we're just gonna go inside of here and check out what it looks like. So maybe we can just tighten a few screws, like get the connection better and that'll fix it, but more likely we'll just have to replace the thermal couple. Let's do it. So the thermal couple is this thing right here. And basically, it just measures the temperature. So to get access to the thermal couple, we have to first just take all these screws off and it'll hinge out and then we'll be able to do it. It's, it's actually super simple. So the first thing you should do before you do this is you need to unplug the kiln. Because anytime you're working with anything electrical inside, you don't want to get electrocuted. I'm just gonna start unscrewing these. Then we open it up, and then here's where the thermal couple is. These two middle screws are the screws that you would unscrew that to pop the thermal couple out. But first I'm just gonna loosen these a little bit and then try and like tighten that connection and then plug it in and see if that works. But more likely, we will just have to replace it. Fine, they're like not that expensive, they're like 30 bucks. I'll put a link to a thermal couple in there. It's not a bad idea to just have an extra one because you know, like this happened on, to me on a Sunday and, and I need to get a fire started today, but this clay store, Continental Clay that I go to, they're not open, so I can't get one today. So it's always nice to have an extra one laying around in case you have to do this. If you're a potter um, and you're watching this, how many times, how often do you have to replace your thermal couple? I'd say I do it maybe once a year. Okay, so I tighten that. I'm just gonna plug it in to see if we still get a fail message. Fail. So we still have a fail message, so now we have our thermal couple that we're gonna replace. So it's super simple, all we're gonna do is we're going to loosen this screw and loosen this screw, and then we're gonna take the thermal couple out from the inside of the kiln, and then we'll put that other one in there, and then hopefully we turn it back on and it's good. Okay, so we got those two screws unscrewed. Now we will come inside here, and we'll just pull this out. Just like that. And that, the end of that thermal couple, if you can see that, that thermal couple does look, looks pretty warm. All right, so then now we'll take our new thermal couple, just stick it right in there. Then we wanna make sure that it just gets into those holes. And then we'll pull it out slightly. So it looks just like that. Tighten those two middle screws down again. And then we'll plug this guy in. And hopefully it works. Idle, 85 degrees. It worked. All right. Cool, and then we just close this guy up, screw those things back in, and then get to loading. Hey, thanks for watching this video. I hope this helped you replace your thermal couple, uh, maybe not get so frustrated with that fail message. But if you haven't already, hit that subscribe button, like this video, comment below, let me know what you think of this video, and got lots more pottery videos coming. See you in the next video.